So let's suppose that we have a circular object with a radius of 5 centimeters that rotates with an angular velocity that is given by the following equation. So our omega with respect to time where omega is the angular velocity is equal to 5 plus 60 radians per second. So this equation basically tells us that as the time increases, the angular velocity also increases. Now, at the time, at the moment, t equals 2 seconds, we want to calculate in part a the angular velocity, in part b the angular acceleration, and in part c the linear velocity, tangential acceleration, and radial acceleration at the point on the edge of our rotating object. So at the point 5 centimeters from the axis of rotation. So let's begin with part A. We want to calculate the angular velocity at the moment t equals 2 seconds. So because we are given the equation for angular velocity with respect to time, we simply take this equation, we plug in t equals 2, and we calculate our angular velocity. So 5 plus 6 times 2, 12. So 12 times 5, or 12 plus 5 is 17 radians per second. So that means at time equals 2 seconds, our object is rotating with angular velocity of 17 rads per second. Now let's move on to part B. What exactly is the angular acceleration at time equals 2 seconds? Well, recall by definition, the angular acceleration of an object is the derivative of our angular velocity with respect to time. So we essentially take this equation and we take the derivative of that equation. So the 5 goes to 0 and the 6t becomes 6. So that means at t equals uh, 2 seconds, our acceleration, angular acceleration, is 6 radians per second squared. Now finally, let's move on to the last part, part C. So, we want to calculate three things. The linear velocity, tangential acceleration, and radial acceleration. So let's recall the formula for linear velocity. So the relationship between linear velocity, the radius of our circle, and the angular velocity is given by this equation. So linear velocity is equal to the product of the radius and our angular velocity. So we found what the angular velocity was at 2 seconds. It's 17 rads per second. So we plug that in for the angular velocity. We know what the radius is. It's 0.05 meters. We plug that in and we find that our linear velocity at time equals 2 seconds is 0.85 meters per second. Let's move on to tangential acceleration. So tangential acceleration is given by the following formula. It's or it's alpha, where alpha is simply our angular acceleration multiplied by the radius of our circle. So once again, the radius is 0.05 meters and the angular acceleration found in part B is 6 radians per second squared. So 6 multiplied by 0.05 gives us 0.3 meters per second squared. So this is our tangential acceleration. Now, what about the radial acceleration? Well, the radial acceleration is given by the following equation. So it's the velocity squared, the linear velocity squared, divided by the radius. So we found what the velocity is at 2 seconds. The velocity is simply 0.85 meters squared. So we plug that in, we square that, and divide that by the radius, 0.05 meters, and we obtain a value of 14.45 meters per second squared. So we see that our radial acceleration is much larger than the tangential acceleration.